I am Beth Harrington, and we are in the Dr. J. M. Thompson home in Tahlequah. The home was uh, begun in 1882 and finished construction in 1889, and Dr. Thompson and his uh, wife moved into the home at that time. Dr. Joseph M. Thompson was the son of Johnson Thompson, a Tahlequah businessman, a very affluent businessman. And uh, the father, Johnson Thompson, was on the Trail of Tears as a teenager, and he built homes for his children in town. And Dr. Thompson was also a very prominent worker uh, with the Cherokee Nation. He was in charge of the medical care of uh, the Cherokee Orphanage and also their home for the elderly. And so he was well known in the Cherokee Nation as a wonderful physician and person interested in the Cherokee people. The home is wonderful in its examples of architecture and furnishings of the era, 1890s and the turn of the century, so it represents the people of that era in many ways. We tour the entire house and talk about the family and how they lived, talk about the furniture and its antique, antique significance and the architectural features the transoms over the doors and windows, uh, the types of furniture that were uh, used in that, that period of time. I love the old-fashioned pump organ. I'm an organist, and there's an old-fashioned parlor organ that you pump and play. I love that. I love uh, the wonderful bedroom furniture upstairs. Well, all the things are just, just beautiful pieces. I think people would get a wonderful sense of history and of, you know, these were real people who were alive and interesting. That's one reason. Uh, another reason, of course, is the significance of, of the building itself, a very beautiful building, architecturally very significant, and the furniture is significant. So it's, a, it's an attraction for tourism, it's a history lesson, it's significant in teaching and education, so all of those factors make it, make it important for us to keep it going and let people know about it.